Will ransomware encrypt backups? How to protect yourself in case they do. Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. Today's question, I wonder if a backup system that uses an external disk is safe from ransomware. I have a Cronus True Image, paid version, and do a full backup once a month in an incremental daily. Can ransomware get to that backup? It is, in reality, just another disk in my system. Honestly, the best we can say is maybe, or perhaps more accurately, yes, it can, but it's rare that it does. So let's talk about this some more. Many people are concerned about ransomware in general. Ransomware is simply that form of malware that comes along and encrypts your files so that you can't use them and holds them for ransom offering you to decrypt them if you pay some amount of money, usually in a digital currency. You have a couple of different options. You can pay to get the files back if you don't have copies of them elsewhere, which of course we don't recommend because it simply encourages more ransomware. You can restore the files from a backup. This is honestly my number one solution. If you have a way to get the files from a backup, that's the way to go. That way you can probably treat your ransomware as a non-event. Or the third option, most painful one, I suppose, is to give up. In other words, recognize that those files are lost and gone forever and move on. Now, a lot of people are very concerned about ransomware encrypting backups. And while I agree that the concern is I don't want to say overly warranted, but it has started to increase as ransomware has matured. But it is not something that I think is such a threat that it should prevent you from taking steps to protect yourself from more likely problems. First, let's take a look at what ransomware encrypts. Most ransomware, and I have to say most, We'll get to the others in a moment, but most ransomware actually only operates on your C drive, on the system drive, whatever drive that may be, it's usually system drive C. So they won't bother to look at other drives on your system, which is great because that means your external drives, as you pointed out, are just another drive on your system. They're just another drive that the ransomware won't look at. So maybe it will only look at drive C. Maybe it'll look at other drives. Most ransomware actually doesn't encrypt all files. And let's face it, it can't. It has to not encrypt Windows itself, which means that either it's avoiding the Windows subdirectory or more commonly, it's only choosing certain types of files to encrypt. Typically documents, pictures, and usually defined by the file extension, the .doc or .docx or .jpg or any of the other file extensions associated with what I would call high value files, the files containing your data and nothing else. Now, one of the reasons they do that is that typically compared to the rest of your system, there may not be as much data as there is, say, backup files. Data can be encrypted quickly and the ransomware can have its impact before you even notice anything is wrong. If ransomware were to back up other files, it would take longer and it opens that window of, of opportunity for you to notice that something is going on. So again, most ransomware focuses on the C drive or they only focus on certain file types, certain file types which typically contain data and which are not typically large. Backups are typically large, hence they are typically not part of what ransomware will look at. Now I keep saying most, because of course there is no yes or no answer to this. There is in fact ransomware out there that will try to encrypt your backups. Um, 
it will try to encrypt your Acronis backups, your Macrium backups, your ESIS to do backups, whatever technology you're using. There is ransomware out there that will probably try to encrypt it. What has to happen for your backups to be encrypted boils down to this. One, well, you have to let ransomware on your machine, right? You have to have let your guard down or somehow malware got past your defenses and has installed itself on that machine. Two, that malware needs to be a variant that scans more than just the C drive because the C drive is not where you place your backups. And three, that malware also has to be a variant of ransomware that actually encrypts backup files. So you can see most ransomware doesn't do this. Most malware is not ransomware and most ransomware does not encrypt your backups. But most is not all. So one of the knee jerk reactions that I see people taking is that they will disconnect their backup drives when they're not backing up. I think that this is a mistake. And here's why. You want your backups to happen automatically. You want your backups to happen without thought. Because remember, most malware is not ransomware. And most ransomware does not encrypt your backups. By not backing up, by forgetting to back up, by putting any kind of an obstacle in front of backing up, you are yourself then more vulnerable to not being able to recover from most malware. That's why you want your backups to happen without thought. Now, can you protect yourself against backup encrypting ransomware? Of course, it's easy. Every once in a while, take a copy of your backup offline. Don't disconnect your backup drive. Just make a copy of the backup drive or the most recent backup or something to a different external drive, to another machine on your local network, to some other place that is not typically accessible while your machine is running. That will prevent ransomware from encrypting that backup because it won't have access to it. It's that simple. And that's something that I am more than happy to rely on your memory for, my memory as well. It is more important that your backup happen daily without thinking. It is fine to maybe forget for a couple of days to have made a copy of that backup and taken it offline, but it is not okay to forget to do the backup at all. So that's my position. I strongly recommend you consider it deeply. Ransomware is scary. It makes big headlines, but again, most malware is not ransomware and most ransomware does not encrypt backups. I hope that was helpful. I hope it was educational. For comments, for updates, for links related to this topic, visit askleo.com slash 21259. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.